Okay, here's the like, super quick uh, Tetsu Tetsu combo guide. So, his regular bread and butter combo is gonna look something like this. Oops, don't mess it up though. So you have to delay the tilt work on a little bit so you get all of the hits. And then don't do the red attack or it will meaty blow too early. And then do the ender like this. And this is if you just wanna do a full basic combo, 8,700 damage, which is pretty good for a meterless combo. It's pretty okay. And it's very easy to hit. It's very hard to mess up. Um, but with Tetsu Tetsu, you're not often going to be doing regular combos like that because he's a reset machine. So there's two types of resets he has is from the air. He can do a reset with his tilt work one, where if you time it correctly, it's almost impossible for the opponent to do after um, anything after he does the second part of his tilt work one. So you just end your combo in like two hits of the um, tilt work one. I shouldn't have extended that much, but depending on how many hits you do in your combo, you can just do this, dash after the opponent, and if you time it correctly, there's honestly like nothing the opponent can do to interrupt you. Like that you can't even do a counter attack or a sidestep, which is pretty crazy. The only way they can get out of it is by just guarding. And so yeah, you can just keep doing this over and over again until the opponent decides they suddenly know how to just guard. And if you do feel merciful, you can actually convert into a full combo because he can do the um, his quirk two from the from the um, from the air. Thing. and you can do a full combo that way and if you add that on to the like regular combo that you've done which is 8,000 plus 7,000 you're getting like 15,000 damage just by doing one reset in your combo and as I said before you can get that reset quite a few times in your combo so that's pretty scary the second kind of reset he can get is using his tilt quirk 2 and after he gets a hard splat off of something like this like his tilt quirk 1 or his quirk 2 he just waits around a little bit and then jumps in the air and then the frame that the opponent recovers, he is actually able to hit the opponent. So as soon as they are able to be hit, they get hit because of the large, like the long hitbox of this. Oops, that was too quick. But basically this means there's literally no way for the opponent to do anything. They can, there's no way to fit in a counter attack or a sidestep because as soon as they're able to be hit, they get hit by it. So there's no room for them to fit in any any kind of button, and because of how the recoveries kind of mess with um, um, flawless blocks, not flawless blocks, just guards, um, it's almost impossible to just guard this. I was trying to practice it with someone and they were not able to just guard it at all. So um, honestly, I think this is an infinite, which is kind of scary. You can just keep doing this over and over again. Just jump in the air. When the opponent recovers, you hit them with this. Go into the yellow attack, back into this, and then they're back in the ground, and you do the same thing over and over again. And if your opponent doesn't have support, or they've used their support at the wrong time, they just keep getting hit by this. And what's really scary about it is, like, once you've done something like this, and they're in the wall splat, if your opponent decides to call their side steps here, their sidekicks here at, like, the wrong time, then you can just block their sidekicks and then go in for the reset. And then they don't have any sidekicks, and you can go for this reset till your heart's content, and you just completely melt their life bar, that was really poor timing. But as you saw before, it can be really scary. Um, if you want to combo into your plus ultra one, the easiest way I found is just by doing it after a yellow attack. I think that may have been a bit late, but that does usually work. Um, here, I'll just try it once more. This will do a little bit more damage because I'm in hardened state. Damn it. You have to do it really quick, but it does work. What? It was working literally just before, but maybe I'm just... Bad. There we go. Oop. Sorry about that. So 12,300 damage, or you can do it like an extended combo, because you know how he has this stuff. You can do something like this, and then do the yellow attack after this, but... Come on, come on, come on. Ah, okay, I'll just do a super simple version. So that we're not here for ages. Um, you can obviously get more damage like that, but I just don't want to waste your time. But you can get something simple like this, but it's never going to be huge damage, and you can't extend after it because it immediately blows the opponent. Yeah, so that's Tetsu Tetsu's combos, and more, most importantly his resets. They're pretty scary, pretty terrifying that one of them's basically an infinite. But uh, yeah, no huge combos, but awesome resets. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching all the way through. See you next time. Go out and play some Tetsu.